SHOT SHOW 2015. I'M AT THE MORE AND I BOOTH. HELLO, SIR. HOW ARE YOU? I'M GOOD, THANK YOU. YOUR NAME IS BJORN? YES, I'M BJORN. I'M WORKING FOR MORA KNIV IN SWEDEN. I COME FROM SWEDEN. Uh, HEAD OF MARKETING AND SALES THERE. AND uh, WE'RE ASSISTING OUR DISTRIBUTOR IN THE U.S. Okay. Uh, so today I'm going to show you some of the new knives we have. Excellent. Uh, especially we have new knives for our craft uh, line. All right, so great. more or less uh, most people are familiar with the old 511 uh, craft knife and here is a new version of it. So it's a little, that. little bit larger handle, so a more safer grip, yeah. otherwise very similar. Well, that's one of the things that I, uh, one of the reasons when I bought the 511, I made a video on that. I bought a couple 511s and I actually gave them to my two kids, to my, my two boys to use because I did feel like the handle was a little bit too small for yeah. my hands. It, uh, it's doable but a little bit small feeling. However, this one is now quite calm feeling and it's really nice. I like that. So that kind of the basic one and we have the same 546 in the stainless and then the same okay. knife all in the plastic. All right, great. They all come now in a new sheet that is improved. So. Uh, the old sheet was uh, good, but not good enough, I think. What's Microbit. better about this sheet? Okay, yeah, it's more robust. You can also, it's a better way of, of attaching it, either to your belt, or you, you can also have that you can attach it to a button. If you have, I don't have, uh, in carpenter or so, and construction worker, you can have, usually put it on a button, you can, can attach it on that one. Sure. You can also attach uh, more than one knife, so you can have them hanging two knives. Saturday, if you use two knives, for example. Yeah, maybe you use one for uh, not food and one for food. Yeah. That so you, can, you keep them separated. And especially when it comes to uh, the craft line, you uh, you should have different functionality for different knives you usually need to. Some people usually have one knife that are used for all kinds of things, so it gets dull, but it doesn't really matter. And then have one sharp, so one for doing the hard work and what to do when it really need a sharp knife. Yeah, I, there's a lot of reasons to have a couple of knives put together. So from that you have more or less the same kind of all-around knife but uh, more in the basic uh, series where you have the more rubber handle. Same handle but rubber, you get a better grip. You also see that the, the blade is a little bit different, it's a little bit wider and another shape around here on the tip. And this one is called the all round? Yeah, it's an all round. This, this again in, in red, it's in carbon. Yes. And I have one in blue in stainless as well. Can I get a handle on that? Is this the same handle as that one? The basically? same, but with rubber. It's it's with rubber, okay. Yeah. I can feel that on the back. It's all a different feel. On the front. So this material right here would be the same as yeah, that. That's and the then same. it's coated in rubber along the outside. Yeah, I uh, have an all round. I think I have a previous version of it, so the blade shape isn't quite like that. But it has got a nice rubber handle to it. That's nice. Isn't it? Cool. And then in the same with the rubber handle, we have all these, uh, you could say, kind of speciality knife. For example, you have a, what we call a rope knife. It's for cutting fiber materials or ropes or anything like that. Yes. And we have the serration. Yep. We also have uh, what's it? Precision knife for when you do final work, uh, especially in wood, but also be in other other materials. You need a small blade, and you have this one. Yeah. Uh, All these knives are extremely affordable, by the way. Is that correct? Extremely affordable. Yeah, I would say all more knives are very good value for money. Yes. Uh, and these ones, I don't know exactly the US retail price now, but yeah, definitely affordable. You can yes. afford to have two or three knives yep. easily. And yep. uh, you don't be, need to be afraid. If you lose one, you can't afford to buy a new one. Yes. This one is a specific knife. It's for a chisel knife. So you see the, the normal, you can, can you say the, the edge. It's a normal edge for a normal knife. You can use it as a normal knife. But also you have a typical chisel functionality if you work in with it. Nice. Very, very sharp also. And then you have one so of that my chisel edge is as sharp as the regular yeah, edge. It's just, just as sharp. Wow. Then this is actually one of my favorite knives. It's uh, called the flex knife. As you can see, this is stainless steel, it's a very thin blade. Uh, it's also flexible, so you can see it's, it's flexing a lot. Wow. So this thin blade is very good if you cut through different material like rubber or hard plastic or tubes or anything. Something where the, the thickness of the blade will cause drag. Yeah. 
So then you need a thinner blade. So yes. it's easy to cut with this one, but it would be difficult with a knife like this. Yes, I can see that. So it's a big difference. Uh, also, this is used for you know cutting, for example, silica or anything, or you need to cut in close. Then you can put in a knife, you bend it, and you can keep the, the cut very close to, to uh, the other material around it. Oh, nice. So that's when you really need the flexible, flexibility in the knife. Yeah, I can see that. Then, of course, if you need a, a, want an all-round knife, but a little bit more robust, we have this one. It's kind of same handle, but a much thicker blade. It's a 3.2 millimeter blade. Is this one called the more robust? Yeah, the more robust. I have one of these as well in the previous version, and uh, I do like I do like the thickness of it. I like that it'll take a little bit of a more of a beating, mm -hmm. and uh, if I need it to, it can do some harder work. Cool. And then also, this is actually a new new model. It's, it's, it comes in the basic, so it's just plastic, uh, but it's, uh, as you can see, it's a blunt tip, so we call it the safe. Okay. Uh, it's used a lot now in uh, larger construction companies, because they're more and more into uh, safety, and they see that uh, most of injuries that occur, uh, most injuries comes from actually tip. The tip of the knife. So if they have a blunt tip, you can reduce injuries. So that's why it's more and more important now and they look more and more into different safety, especially around knives. That's a great option if you're looking to get your kids into you know, yeah. maybe a scout knife or something like that. It could be. And uh, you want something with a little bit more safety to it. I mean, that's the reason why you would give them a sheep foot blade or something like that as mm -hmm. well. A lot of reasons for having a blunt tip. That's pretty nice. What you also you can use it. It's not maybe 100 percent, but you can actually use it as uh, to as a screw oh, sure. so if you want. Yeah. So it can be used for different things. Cool. And that would that be the lineup of all the new stuff for 2015? That's the lineup for all the new uh, craft wine. Uh, we have some other knives that are fairly new. For example, the Bushcraft knife, in black. Yeah. Last shot show, I think we showed the Pathfinder, the, the one with the larger uh, blade. No, yes, that one right there. there. Also the, uh, the standard which of black. We're going to pull that one out, actually. We'll look at that one, too. That one? Yeah. I haven't gotten my hands on that yet. So basically, it's the same knife as a Bushcraft Black. It's carbon steel with this black coating. It's just that there's a longer blade. Yeah. It comes with this nylon molly sheet, so it's molly... Compatible. Very nice. It's got that uh, very nice ergonomic grip to it. It's very robust in, and the grip is really good. You get some, even if you're wet, you have a good grip. Yep, I can see that. And so then we have a more uh, the standard black, but now this is half serrated. Okay. So if you need to cut ropes or anything like that, it's good to have. Yeah, and that one's stainless. Uh, and that, that one is stainless also. And that's yeah. because the serration, we don't want that one to rust easily, so that's why it comes in stainless. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and I would say this one and the standard Bushcraft black in, in carbon are the two that we are selling now more and more to uh, tactical, to police forces and some military forces. Yeah, very nice. Well, cool. You guys can see a lot more at what's the website? Okay, thanks for listening. The website is what again? The website for more knives? Mura, www.murakneev.se. Okay, wonderful. And you guys can check that out online. There it is. Yeah, you can as well. Shot Show 2015. Thanks for watching.